Let's speak to Tom Gilbanks, hair loss content creator. Tom, good afternoon to you. Hey, Ian, how's it going? Good. Uh, you have a wonderful flock of hair. Uh, I, I do, thankfully. Yeah, and I, I you know, f thankfully I, I seem to have been born with the gene that also isn't going to uh, drop out anytime soon. But there are 15 million people that have a different experience. Absolutely, and I was just going to compliment you on that, actually, and you've got a, uh, a great head of hair. Thank if I can, you. If I can keep that level of uh, follicles through my life, I'll be, I'll be pretty grateful. Yeah, although it should be, <laughs> I'm only, I am only 24, so there is that, but. Oh, you're a year younger than me then, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year. <laughs> Indeed. When you saw the mouse story, did you think, wow, it's the, it's, what, it's the mice what did it, or had you heard a version of this story before? Many, many times, unfortunately, yeah. It seems like one comes out every few months when, it's, when it comes to mice. It's just, it's a great starting point when it comes to science, testing medicines mm. on on mice animals but actually replicating that to a human it's so difficult it's so so difficult because yeah. you know a mouse hair you know we go through hair cycles and a mouse hair tends to last about three to four weeks so you know it grows sheds another one starts within that period so you're However, not you're not sold on the idea that this is there's some miracle cure has happened here and and the mice no. have gone from looking like right said fred to Alice Cooper overnight. Maybe mice, yeah, maybe mice, but getting that into into humans into is incredibly humans. it's incredibly different because a human hair cycle is about two to seven years and actually taking what you've done on a mouse and getting it to happen in a human is is totally different, unfortunately. I think I, I'm hopeful for the future though. I'm really hopeful for the future because I think the way that technology is advancing, you've got AI, you've got quantum computing, it's just it's gonna rapidly speed up research and yeah. you know take away that human error in time but you know headlines on curing balding in mice is just uh yeah, yeah it's i've heard it before <laughs> and when you see you know headlines like this which are which are pretty uh pretty frequent in terms of it being cured in in mice the good news is you know there's good news and bad news and yeah. the good news is if you're a mouse because it's been cured many times <laughs> um, yes there's a laboratory somewhere that's got a uh, you know a mouse in it that looks like tina turner i mean that's, yeah. the, that's the reality this poor this poor thing's got locks coming all all, all over it all, all over the shelf <laughs>